Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Peter with pdesignworks.com. In this tutorial, you'll be learning how to create a fitness logo in Adobe Illustrator. Pdesigns is all about giving you guys step-by-step -step tutorials on how to use both Photoshop and Illustrator softwares to create outstanding graphics design works. From logo and illustration tutorials to effects and image retouching tutorials, all at Pdesigns. If you know that that's the kind of content you're interested in, Make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification as well so as not to miss any future updates. Let's get right into it. The first thing we'll do is click on this create button to create a new artboard. So we'll be using the 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel artboard size since we are creating a logo design. So you click on create and you check your toolbar, check this view button. And check if your smart guides and your snap to pixel is turned on. So since they are turned on, you can continue. Now what you need to know about movement is if you want to scroll up and down like this, all you need to do is press on the alt and the middle mouse and scroll in and out of your middle mouse button like that. That is how to zoom in and out. And if you want to move from side to side, you hold your space bar. And move from left to right or up to down like that so that is for movement so now to begin we'll go to our rectangle tool so you might see that it might be on the ellipse tool all you need to do is hold on the ellipse tool button and click on the rectangle tool so now we'll draw a simple rectangle on the left side of the artboard remove the stroke and change the fill to red this so make a duplicate alt and shift to duplicate it like that you reduce it alt and shift as well to reduce the size like that you can reduce the the, the width also alt and shift again reduce the size I reduce it very well this time bring it close like that so now what we want to do is make the all the corners rounded so to do that you click on the direct selection tool so if you want only one side to be rounded all you do is click on the side and round it so if you want two sides you use hold on shift click on the two sides and round them you see that the other two sides are rounded so but now we want the whole corners to be rounded so you just drag like this we have the corners rounded same here drag like this corners rounded corners rounded so we have the left side now i want to copy this side to the right side same way alt and shift to duplicate bring it to the right side alt and shift as well to the right side alt and shift like that so make sure the, the distance is the same so if you want the distance to be exactly the same you can use the rectangle tool to measure the distance between these two shifts and you bring it here to make sure they are equal and they are equal so for the second one as well the same thing you draw a rectangle here got the exact same distance so now we can continue so we want to draw like an L bar in between these two like this so to do that we'll select the pen tool or use P like that and you, you make sure you target the middle part and then drag holding shift to maintain a straight line Ok, 
okay so don't worry about this we just swap it to stroke and make sure it's in the middle now it's too tiny so what we'll do is increase the width by increasing the stroke width like this okay I think this is okay. So, and I, I think this side is too high. So, what we can do is click on the direct selection tool and then drag down a bit. Yeah, same here. One last thing before we go to the text, take the rectangle tool and draw a small rectangle here. So that's like the the undo, the end part. So now direct selection tool, select the two sides more rounded, and round it up like that try and put it in the middle alt shift like that transform reflect okay still bring it down a bit using the down arrow key Okay, so now I want to write a text here. We use the text tool or press T for the type tool. So write the text we want to use. The text is get fit. So get fit. Alt and shift to scale it up. So the font we'll be using is um, copper plate gothic bold. As the font to be using. So now we'll go to the text tool and then select the fit side and change it to red. Try aligning it the middle, align horizontally like that. It. so now let's change this into shape because it's still stroke expand and ok and then we join everything together using the shape builder tool so you drag on it like this drag on it like this so they become one single shape like that and we group them together and we have our logo so if you have any question feel free to leave it in the comment section below and please remember to like as well so as to help others find this video also subscribe so as not to miss more content like this in the future thank you